to meet the progression points, the blood pressure control. So blood pressure control, for blood pressure control, individualize the BB targets and agents according to the patient needs, who existed cardiovascular disease and comorbidities, the risk of progression of CKD, the presence of abscess or retinopathy, and tolerance of treatment as described according to the KD4 2012 BB guideline. So after studying the blood pressure control, data the BB treatment regimes, in, especially in the elderly patient. And uh, if the blood pressure is not reaching the goal, we have to gradual escalation of the treatment rather than the rapid uh, increasing the dose of the antihypertensive agents. So uh, for the blood pressure and rust interruption, both diabetic and non-diabetic uh, Adults with a chronic kidney disease, if they are during ultimate excretion less than 30 mg by 24 hours, and that their office may be consistently above 40 90, uh, we have to treat it with the BB lowering drugs and then maintain that they are blood pressure below 145 90 mg mercury. So, both diabetic and then both diabetic and non diabetic kidney disease, their protein urea is more than 30 mg by 24 hours, although that their blood pressure is above 130 mg. So we have to treat it with the BB lowering drugs and then maintain that their blood pressure below 130 by 80. That's why what sort of antihypertensive agents we can use for blood pressure lower? So suggest that. Uh, ARV and ACE can be used in the diabetic adult with CKD and the urine albumin excretion in between 30 and 300 mg per 24 hours. And those two uh, rust blocker can be used in both diabetic as well as the non diabetic CKD patient. And uh, even they are albumin urea is more than 300. So, less than 300, we can use those in the diabetic, but more than 300, we can use those in both diabetic and non diabetic. So, the third delay the progression points is CKD and BD. When the patient has a chronic kidney disease, uh, because of the hyperparathyroidism, uh, they will develop the metabolic bone disease. Why the metabolic bone disease is important to uh, correct? And the important to put one of the factors in the delay the progression. Uh, because someone who has the metabolic bone disease be in the high hyperphosphatemia, they will develop the atherosclerosis. That atherosclerosis can cause the uh, CBD and the uh, CBD offense, morbidity as well as the mortality because of atherosclerosis. In the CK, early stage of the CKD, CBD morbidity and mortality is an important cause of death. So that's why we have to correct the metabolic processes and keep the their parameter of the calcium phosphate and barbaric hormone in recommended rate. In CKD MBD, what sort of intervention we can use? We can restrict the phosphate intake. And then, if we cannot uh, restrict the phosphate intake, and phosphate is a persistent high, we can use a phosphate binding agent like the savilanma or lanthanum or calcium containing drugs. And then we can give a one alpha hydroxylic vitamin D, and uh, just the, uh, the dose is adjusted to avoid the hypercalcemia. Sometimes we forget to check the calcium level after giving the dose treatment for a long time. They won't have the hypercalcemia. That's why that's important to check either, either they have a hypercalcemia or not. And then we can use uh, salicylate as a calcium mimetic agent. And if you cannot control the hyperparathyroidism, get to the parathyroidism. So, the level is the acidosis. Metabolic acidosis is an important complication in the chronic kidney disease patient. Uh, if someone who has the uh, metabolic, severe metabolic acidosis, uh, we can correct. So, in which level of the bicarbonate level, we have to start the uh, bicarbonate supplement. So, when the serum bicarbonate level less than 22 mg per liter, we have to start with the oral bicarbonate agents. 
and the maintain the serum fat by downing member in the normal range. Because chronic metabolic acidosis is associated with the increased protein catabolism during the bone disease, mass wasting, chronic inflammation, impaired glucose homeostasis, impaired cardiac function, and the circadian progression, in the, and also increase the mortality. The fourth factor is the uh, urea acidity factor. When the CKD patients are hyperuricemia, uh, although we we need to uh, keep the uh, urea acid level in normal range, and according to the KDO guideline, there is still there is insufficient evidence to support or refute the use of those agents. Why uh, theoretically we need to correct the hy hyperuricemia because. Uh, According to the pathophysiological effects, hyperuricemia can cause atherosclerosis. That's why it increases the CBD uh, morbidity as well as the mortality. And the, another important factor so sometimes we forget is the nephrotoxic medications. So uh, that's the uh, iatrogenic effects. All the doctors and uh, practitioner use a medication to our patient. Sometimes we forget to check uh, how much we have to give the doses and how we're going to adjust it. So uh, the recommendation is uh, uh, we have to adjust uh, uh, our drug dosage according to the GFI. So if uh, someone GFI is less than 60, there is a temporary discontinuation needed for some potentially nephrotoxic agents who excreted via the kidney because it can cause a serious intercardiac illness. And these agents, what are those agents? Including the rust blockers, ACEIERB, albosterone inhibitor, thyroid inhibitor, diuretics, uh, NSEID, metformin, lithium, and calcium. Seafirm, caring for well-being.